Welcome back into Talking Fitchburg. Joining me from the Fitchburg Senior Center. Actually, she looks like she's in a really cool office. So it's uh, not it's, cool. It, it's not. Oh, come on. It's Jill yep. McCone. Not cool. You got a globe in your office. Come on. I made that there so I look smart. If I switch this camera, it's a mess in here, and it's like a four by four room in a house that was built in 1890. So it's got a lot of character, though. Well, and you're full of character too. So uh, this is all works in uh, hand in hand uh, with our update of what's happening at the senior center. Yeah. Uh, it, it's a it's a busy month, and uh, it it's is. Women's History Month. Uh, so excited uh, uh, yeah. to be talking about this because you guys are doing a lot of programming this month, and, and really have been taking a focus in uh, on diversity, uh, on inclusion, and and bringing people in and bringing people together. And right. I feel like this month's newsletter is like all of that. Plus, it's a new newsletter so yeah oh my lots to talk about it is so let's yeah first just focus on when uh women's history month and some okay. of the events that you're going to be hosting this month okay so yeah women's history month so it's kind of the first time we've ever celebrated this and we're excited to be partnering with madison's diversity um, and inclusion program um, working with them we're like let's highlight all these amazing women you know we'll pick four for a panel and that was hard there's so many amazing <laughs> women in fitchburg in dane county how do you narrow it down? And we thought, you know what, we're gonna work on, let's look at people of color for this first event. I think it's, it's part of our, our goal to expand our um, programs and our services to be more inclusive, to reflect the diversity of our community. That has, you know, that is changing, continues to change, has changed. Um, and it's a concerted effort that we're making um, to make sure we're bringing programs and services that speak to everybody, that share, share everybody's values. Um, so anyway, excited about the Women's History Month. Um, working with Madison, we selected the four speakers. Um, I don't want to take a lot of time, but going into their backgrounds, but Gloria Reyes, um, first Hispanic elected to the Madison School Board, um, currently running for mayor of Madison, was the de deputy mayor. Um, Pia Kinney James, um, first woman Black police officer in the city of Madison um, back in the 70s. Um, Margarita Avila, um, executive director of the Latino Academy of Workforce Development um, from Durango, Mexico, and then our very own Frances Huntley Cooper, um, uh, who was the first African-American woman mayor in the state of Wisconsin, and Fitchburg gets to, um, you know, not take credit, but but uh, celebrate her as she was Fitchburg's mayor. So, and she's also being celebrated next week um, with the renaming of the council chamber. So super excited to have these women on a panel. It'll be moderated. Um, and so the, pro the program is at the community center, the large Oak Hall room upstairs, um, one to 3.30. We'll have the panel, we'll have time for a Q and A, we'll have a moderator. We will have um, time to just talk amongst ourselves and then have um, some really nice refreshments. And I think it's gonna be a great event. Yeah, what a great opportunity to, to bring people together. This is a powerful group. Uh, I, I know. I've, I've seen and heard and talked to a lot of these folks, and they uh, are going to bring uh, some uh, some great positivity uh, to the group, but uh, yeah. truly an opportunity to hear from some powerful uh, leaders, women leaders uh, in our community, yeah. which is uh, so exciting. So I'm I'm so excited uh, that this is happening, and uh, we'll uh, hopefully be uh, covering this and uh, bring uh, some of that back uh, for folks who uh, miss it, because uh, uh, yeah. it's a great opportunity opportunity to share that. And uh, we were talking before we came on, and I think the Fitchburg Senior Center, uh, you, and you've said this for years, but I think it's important to, to show that the, the Senior Center is an opportunity to bring people together, uh, to learn together, to to understand each other, and uh, what a great opportunity this is. But, but really, the fundamental, it, it's not for old people. It's not, yeah. you know, take that stigma away. It, it's about right. finding new things and, and, and learning. So I think yeah, uh, new, new it's, challenges it's awesome. and yeah. And again, you know, we're just, we really are seeing that change in, in people that come to the center. Our participants are representing so many different cultures and, you know, we, again, it, it's just part of my vision for this year is to really, um, you know, celebrate different holidays and, and, and sort of break out to what we've done in the past and just make sure that, you know, every individual when they come in, they're like, yeah, I fit in here. I, I feel comfortable here. 
Um, and so, yeah, we're really excited about that and, and offering some challenging programs and just a wide variety um, that cover all kinds of topics. And you're also running a survey at the same time here because yeah, you want to hear from people. So not only, not right. only are you trying to bring more uh, diverse programming and different type of programming, which again, I think the Senior Center has done a great job, uh, the survey to hear from people and get you want to know because you want to be right in there to provide that programming. Yeah, we haven't really done a, a huge survey like this in a long time. And thanks to, um, I have a committee called Plan for Growth. Um, we're so instrumental in helping me design this um, survey that really, really um, is going to, sh to show us our data. What, who uses us, you know, um, why, what they want to see, um, and really a lot of demographic information that we need to um, collect to really move us forward. I know what I think I want. But you know what, that's not, it's not about me, even though sometimes it probably appears that it is. <laughs> it's not, I want to really reflect the values of the people that come and those that don't come, you know, why is that? And so anyway, you can get, there's tons of hard copies at the senior center, um, but it's really easy to do online. You go right to our homepage on our website and click um, Fitchburg Senior Center Survey, boom. And um, if you can do it that way, that's even better because we're, the platform that we're using will calculate all the results. And so then we don't have to hand put all the hard copy in, uh, into that database. So anyway, yeah, we're gonna keep it open for the whole month of March. Um, and then hopefully in April, we'll figure out what we do good, what we need to improve upon and move forward from there. Yeah, it's good to good to hear back from you. I and mean, your door is always open. All the employees' yeah. doors are open uh, at the senior center, which is uh, why which... I'm at my house today. Because <laughs> <laughs> I tell you, you it's, I love I love that part of my job. But I, I, you know, I can't get some days not one thing done, and and yeah. it's all good, you know. But um, to have a moment to be at home and. Uh, just get some some stuff done is it feels pretty good <laughs> yeah no I think that's uh makes it even more special uh being down there is that uh, you guys are all so friendly like right I love I love coming down there and yeah, chatting with daddy, you all I love get it. caught up yeah but uh yeah. either way uh, it's great uh and uh, you can also get hard copies too so if you're not uh technical savvy or technically right. savvy oh, yeah. you can uh you can get hooked up with a hard copy as well and drop that off at the front desk yep exactly all right well exactly. we we have to talk about the newsletter uh, because oh, it's right. got a new format. I've been here a long time, Jill, and I, I've gotten accustomed to my newsletter <laughs> the way it is, and you changed it on me. No, yeah, it looks, you know. it looks great. Uh, tell us about this. Yeah, so, um, you know, we've got feedback over the years, and it, it's a big undertaking to say, you know, we got to reformat all of this. And so credit goes to Dave, um, Dave Hill, assistant director who does the newsletter. Um, we kind of wanted to focus on those pillars of wellness that, you know, we work on, whether it's emotional, educational, volunteering um, services. So we try to offer a heading um, on each page that we could kind of plug each program under. And then um, as we get more programs and we do more registrations, um, you know, it was getting confusing about, do I register? Do I not register? We've got a big R sign next to programs you need to register for. We're trying to indicate if some of them are just drop in. Um, but again, just headings at the top. So trying to categorize each thing, obviously some people will be like, oh, that doesn't feel like that was, you know, resources and learning, but we're trying. So this is our first, first month of this reformatted newsletter. So happy to get some comments. We actually did. We've gotten good comments, a few easy suggestions um, to tweak it a bit, but yeah, it feels really good. It looks, I think, more organized and easier to kind of find what you need. Well, I think it really uh, definitely dives into the different areas that uh, you do offer when it comes yeah. to programming, uh, which mm -hmm. is across the board uh, from health to wellness to you name it, uh, and yeah. special guests alike. I think it's really doing a good job of showing that. You've got a lot of things going on down there. And another area that we always talk about that, unless you know, you really don't know that. You know, <laughs> totally. it's, that's a great, it, that's a great way to put it. Unless you, if you think you know, you don't. You really right. don't unless you're coming in. Mm -hmm. yeah. And so I, I think agree. that's, uh, I think it celebrates uh, everything that's going on uh, there uh, and beyond. So it's uh, pretty impressive uh, to say the least. We'll get one item in because uh, we've we've been talking a little bit of everything today, but yeah. do you want to mention uh, just to get it on people's radar, the pancake breakfast uh, is oh, returning. Yes. Amidst everything you're doing, Jill, there's oh. a pancake breakfast returning. My favorite. Of right. Who would have thought after taking a, uh, a little time off over COVID, um, April 23rd 
is uh, Sunday, Pancake Breakfast, 8 to noon. And I'll tell you, our Fitchburg Senior Center friends, they're the ones that put this program on. And um, every three years, the board changes. It has 15 people. So um, you can come on for two consecutive terms and then you got to go off. So always new people. Um, the folks in charge of this pancake breakfast are just getting at it. Um, <laughs> they have been out in the community promoting, getting donations. Um, we are planning for 600, which just almost makes me hit my stomach turn because that <laughs> is a lot of pancakes and eggs. Um, but I think that um, people are ready to gather. And so we are prepared. Yeah. It's a lot of fun. Yeah, it is. It's it, great. It's, it, if you haven't been to it, um, but it is. It, if you want to see community come together yeah, uh, at yeah. an event, I mean, it's it's just something special. And I'm glad mm -hmm. I got to cover it. I'm glad I've got to be on the other end to bring uh, my grandma out to it a few times. Oh, and, yeah, right. And enjoy, too. So it, it really yeah. is a fun day. And, and the funds uh, that are collected uh, are the, was what the friends collect will use yep. to uh, help uh, right. with programming, with stuff you need, right? Yep, program scholarships. Um, some transportation issues, special needs funds where they're helping people with medicine or maybe some cleanup or moving expenses, that kind of stuff. So the friends are just, they're amazing. I don't know what I would do without them. I really don't. So Jill, yeah. thank you so much. Uh, if people do want to get in contact with you, learn more, where can they go? They can go to our wonderful website. Um, you can find that at the city under department senior center. They can stop in as, as we've talked about, all of our doors are always open. Um, or just give us a call, talk to Susie, she'll point you in the right direction. All right, fantastic. Thank you so much, Jill. Uh, Thank have you. a great month and we'll uh, see you the month of April already. Perfect.